So press plates. Here are some press plate stamps that I have here. What I'm looking to do is create a plate. I use this stamp here. I'm cutting this plate out freehand, meaning it's going to be asymmetrical. I'll show you later how to do it with a template. Take the foam and cut this out, especially for this stamp. Wondering where the foam is? It's located right up over my right hand shoulder in the upper left hand corner of this screen. That's where you go to get foam. edge pushing it into the foam so there's the press plate so now let's talk about making a multi press plate with a tile so using the tile that I showed previously in the video the one on the right looks like part of a flower I'm going to take that tile, push it into the clay, and wiggle it just a little bit. Now I change the direction, and I put it in and wiggle it again. I change the direction, I put it in and wiggle it just a little bit. Wait a minute, almost put that one in the wrong way, so turn it the right direction and wiggle it just a little bit. So, moving right along. I'm cutting off the extra clay from the edge because that would have a weird edge on it. And now I'm softening the edges, softening, softening, pinching, pinching, softening, softening, pinching, pinching. Let's go faster. This is too, yes, that's much better, much better for fast. And now you can, I, uh, you had to, now I have to recenter the frame. Okay, there, you have a multi -press, press plate and a single press plate. And now it's time for making a paper template. For those of you who don't want to freehand cut out your plates, you can actually make an almost perfectly symmetrical template. First, we'll start out by folding the paper in half. We're doing that slowly. Let's speed that up. So I'm using the stamp that I've carved out, and I'm drawing a template around it. Notice that it's only half. And you're thinking, well, what's that going to do? Well, when I cut it out with the scissors, presto! And now, magically out of thin air, a slab of clay appears. You put your template down on there, nice and symmetrical. Give it a little smooth out. And then you don't peel it off. Okay, good. Now we're going to cut it out using a needle tool. And that's so satisfying to remove the clay like that that. Oh, okay, now I'm going to soften the edges. Always soften the edges before you put the stamp. And remember, do it on both sides. The smoother the edges, the less likelihood you have of cutting your finger open once it's glazed. A little bit of refining, softening, softening. Now I'm going to take the piece of foam, put the template on there, Give it a little push, like almost I'm giving CPR. There you go. Nice push, wiggle, push, wiggle. Flip it over. And watch up. Yep, yeah, look, I'm padding it again. What is with the padding? It accomplishes nothing. But what I am accomplishing here is taking the clay and compacting it, as well as pushing it into the texture that is in the tile I've created. Smooth the edge a little bit, raise it up a little, and look at that, remove it, and you have three press plates. Wow. And they all look like they're made of chocolate, but they're not. Don't eat them. So here's an example of the tile that I used and the result of the plate that I pressed in there. One of the things to always remember is 
don't be afraid of getting rid of stuff. You want to reserve your clay and just use it for finished products. Mistakes are fine, but remember to take your clay and put it back in your bag so you can reuse it. You don't have to slap the bag like that, it's really unnecessary. Now, when the plate is in the leather hard stage, you can use a scrub pad. You'll notice that I put some holes in, a little handle, but you want to smooth the edges out. Yes, that's right, smooth out your edges. We don't want anything sharp that might hurt people. So there's the end result. What are you going to make?